opened in 1961, there was four rooms and 118 children. There were no playground equipment and only two outside seats. It was not possible to list the detail or the planting of the trees. The shrubs in the gardens have been made at Marfell over the past 46 years. Mrs Jean Albercroft, a first day teacher, remembers the school was completely bare. No trees anywhere. The windows and the doors of the buildings were not painted. There was no lino in, in some of the corridors and two of the classrooms had just concrete floors with curled up liner. There were no trees or bushes or gardens. Instead of the concrete area that we have now, there's just, well, there was just grass and clay. This all had to be dug up the same year the school started because there was a big problem with stones and bones. Below the school, where there are now playing fields and park areas, there used to be rubbish dump. The seagulls used to go there in their hung, hundreds scavering for food. Then they would fly up over the playground where the children were playing and drop all of those bones. Many of the children got injuries to their feet from treading on these, those spiky bones. The Education Board decided the playground had to be dug up again and replanted with grass. The first trees were planted about a month after the school started. One of the very first was the gum, tr gum tree which was near the leather box but that was blown away by a cyclone blower. Mrs Albercroft taught at Marfell for 13 years and the interesting thing was that she first came there here there were only four rooms but when she left there were 20 classrooms now the number of children has dropped away again